Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Tanks Gaming today again with another Hearts of Iron 4 video where we play the Norway in the Great War mod. We are going to go for a democratic run through, uh, it was suggested in the comment section, and we'll see how we do. So far, we are doing not too shabby, uh, not too great. We haven't been in a war or dragged into a war. Uh, send volunteer forces, world tension is needed at 50%. Uh, but I have enough divisions, so, so uh, the research I took uh, took it far enough down, so I don't need an, a ton of divisions to actually send volunteers. But the world tension is just not high enough. Um, over here I decided to go with the regrouping bonus, uh, division recovery rate, I mean, plus 4% with the political power I had left. I have like 4,000 tro uh, 4, um, troops left, manpower left, to be put into divisions at the front. So there's one guy defending a harbor, harbor defending, harbor defending, harbor defending. So the next division, which when, when they are trained and get ready to come out, they will probably guard this harbor and the other one probably stays in Oslo. We'll see how it comes when they finally appear or when they're done training. I mean, the Ottoman Empire is really, really um, having some troubles here against Greece and Serbia and Bulgaria. Maybe even Montenegro. It looks like they breached out as well a bit. Other wars. Armored war has been researched. Perfect. It is still 1912 and not 1913 yet. So, okay. Political effort has been done. Gives me another 120 political power. That gives me another 100 political power. And the research wise, it's too early for tank research. So we're gonna go decryption. And again, I have enough power to get somebody in, so I get the army regrouping guy who gives me even more recovery rate for my troops, which is nice. Oops, I accident hit N, which turns on night vision, uh, night and think turning. Serbia either get some territory because they have some claims down here and the the Greek went in there and they become Serbian, or they had a connection here and lost it again. Which is kind of interesting. Um, my divisions have been done training, uh, so let's me, let me check. Yeah, one went here and the other one went to Oslo, like I said it would happen. They are training up pretty nicely. I have enough division, uh, enough army experience again to get another infantry division in here. So they are at least getting to a certain strength. It probably will use up the rest of, yes, there it goes, the rest of my manpower, I was going to say, and it just disappeared. Ah, oh, man. Okay, details, that has been done. Actually, what do I need to change my manpower law again from limited conscription to extensive conscription? A world tension of 40... We need to be at war, and the enemy strength ratio needs to be 30% more than uh, to compare to our army. So that shouldn't be a problem. Not at all. Um, we are very, very close to 1913. So I guess I'm gonna wait, and then research Armored Car 2 right away. Because, yeah, we are at the mid of December, 20th of December of 1912. So that shouldn't be too big of a problem. I mean, my, maybe we even invade Sweden if the Swedes decide to go, well, they're very democratic, but if the Swedes decide to join the central powers, which are Austrian and Hungary and Germany, I guess that will be the case there. And we are going to go for the democratic focus over here, which gives me democratic support plus 0 .1, 0 0.1. Yeah, 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 let's do that. That's all good. Uh, research wise, this one would just give me some air support, um, close air support attack plus two percent and stuff like that. That doesn't help me. That one doesn't really help me either. Uh, however, this one we can start some researching on ships, right? Naval research time minus ten percent. Naval research time minus ten percent. Mm, Horton Naval Yard or the Kevo. Not gonna try to pronounce that. I'm going with the Horton. I don't know why, just like it. And we are done with that. Uh, we are in 1913, so armored car two, please. Thank you. So that should go away, that's perfect. <clears throat> A military coup took place in Mexico City. 
Led by General blah 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 Huerta, the military commander of the city was arrested and shot and <laughs> a short time later assassinated alongside with his vice president Maria Piono Su Suarez. Okay. Uh, where would that military Mexico? So Mexico is again not a Mexican opposition? Okay. That's cool. I can live with that. Democ democratic focus. That gives me actually like to see here. Volunteer Corps, Foreign Expedition. Of course, world tension is not high enough, so I can't do anything with that. Surf so yeah. American chooses new freedom. Woodrow Wilson ran on the platform of New Freedom, which in denounces what Wilson perceived as both Theodore Roosevelt, uh, it's Theodore, more per <laughs> my reading is really off today. Um, it's some of these political make God less impressive. This shall stabilize, stabilize the nation. Cool. Demonstration of being dis disenfranchised for years, women have begun to take to the streets of Washington DC and London, demanding their right to vote. In public, perhaps on the suggestion of his wife, has already signed their voting rights into law, and the Prime Minister of the United Kingdom does not seem long behind. What's next? So women can vote now in Hearts of Fire and 4. That's good. Uh, okay, and we have research decryption, so we're gonna go... Ugh. Well, let's go to get their next radio. Why the hell not? I still have a lot of points and I don't know what I should spend them on. Well, over here... Um, yeah, it gives me a little bit... My, my navy makes it, is a bit stronger by that. Which is still just at the harbor. Can I actually train the navy? I never tried that. Um, Repair priority low, medium, high. No repair, never repair. Repair now. Automatically split, split off is now disabled. Current engine rule fi fire at will, create a fleet, hold. Doesn't seem they are you are able to train your navy. So we're gonna let them just sit in the harbor and do nothing for a little while. Oil tension is still just at 16%, which is kind of good. That's okay. Uh, we have the research that we're gonna go for free speech now. Uh, increases the research speed. Of industrial stuff which we will check after the next um, level up after the next research is done we will check if we can research anything new in an in industrial tab or not the war and the south here against the Ottoman is still going on Serbia is getting bigger Greece is not really getting bigger get some territory up here Montenegro has gone a little bit bigger Sofia, um, not Sofia, Bulgaria is having kind of trouble against the Ottomans. It seems like they're getting crushed here. Um, lost a lot of territory. They might even capitulate. If they lose Sofia here, that might be it for them. Uh, we can actually check out the wars here. Um, this one over here, Serbian-Ottoman War. No, they're not too bad. Bulgaria is not too bad there. The Ottomans are not very good. I've lost a ton of people, but so have everybody of the small nations, and the small nations don't have that much. Uh, the, Ital the Italian war against the Ottoman Empire is still going on. I just don't know where, because there are no Italian borders to the Ottoman Empire, it seems. And Yeah, I don't know. They're not allied with the Serbs or anything. Well, they have non-aggression pact. Okay, Bulgaria has capitulated. Interesting. Bulgarian government has gone into exile and their main forces have capitulated to the Ottoman Empire, who is now in control of their home area. The struggles in Bulgaria was only a small part of the conflict. The war between Ottoman Empire and the remains of the Balkan League continues elsewhere. So, free speech has been done. A reorg reorg reorganization act would build me a military factory and gives me 50 political power. Yes, please. Which increased world tension has been increased by 1%. That's not a lot. Uh, I think Serbia is screwed as well. It looks like the Ottoman Empire is gonna win this war this time. Uh, last time they lost horribly, like two wars in a row. They, they were pushed back to um, more or less Turkish territory uh, of today. 
Okay, and that research has been done. And we're gonna hit pause here for a second, like I said. That's 15 tech, we are in 13. So nothing in here. That's all 10 tech we have done, except this one. And this one doesn't really help me, I think. So I'm gonna leave it. Uh, we could research this, but it's two years ahead of time. So no, thank you. We are still going there. Uh, this one gave me a more hard attack. This gives me some more soft attack. Organization and division speed, uh, organization and reinforcements rate, but no, the, the division speed goes down. So I think I go the st static defense route, or should I go mobile defense route? Mm, I think I go static defense. Nah, I, I have a small army, I need to go mobile defense route. Uh, I'm good on that. That one is 15 or 13, we are researching the armored car too. Uh, that's 14 and that's also everything is 14 in here. So no need to research anything in here um, That's 16 that's 15 Tanks and armor variants recovery rate. Well, I'm uh, might start to produce some armored cars soon So I can get this research done. I have a lot of political power, which I don't know what to do with it. At the moment, we are 100% democratic, even though we have, uh, I think it's still a Kaiser, no, no, a King, Hakun the Seventh. Hakun the Seventh, uh, but there will be elections in October 15, so it's not far out. Oh, holy crap, I forgot. Um, doesn't help me anything. There is nobody in here. Doesn't help me anything. For the moment, so I'm gonna save up the political power points for now. No need to try to waste them anywhere. Of course, well, tension is still not high enough to do anything with my troops, but that will change at some point. I said mobile defense because I have a small army, so I'm gonna do that mobile wise. I have 50 more polit uh, army experience, which is nice. So, okay, I'm gonna hit pause here for a second and I. Activated night vision and the night day night cycle again. I mean, uh, armored car variants, which is nice, but I want this division here to be at full strength first. I nearly added a marine there, that would have been embarrassing. 16, 18, 20, and then we start to, to add support companies in. Of course, I do not have the manpower, so this army is like ugh, struggling to keep up with everything. Research-wise, the Armored Car 2 has been researched, which results in no research being researched at the moment. Uh, could get a military police just to have it, uh, if we ever get to the stage where we have to pacify some areas with military police presence. Okay, mass production, something amazing happens uh, at the factory in Pickwit Avenue. Okay, hit pause here for a second. Okay, the Ottoman Empire wanted Italo-Turkish War. Italy lost the Italo-Turkish War. Okay, so they went into a white peace. Um, Henry Ford's ambitious desi desire to make automobile affordable for any customer has inspired assembly line production scheme. Perfect. I hope they have one in black. <laughs> So did they lose any territory to the Ottoman Empire? Doesn't really look like it. So they're really just pieced out with each other. It's a white piece. And yeah, the Serbs are probably gonna lose against the Ottomans. I mean, they're kind of strong down here, but the Greeks not really able to push in. And the Serbs have lost some territory up here. So let me just check the wars. Whoops, wrong button. Wars. Uh, war is going... In 71% of, of for a favor for the defenders. So yeah, Serbia will capitulate rather soon. Will it be the last one? Yeah, if Serbia capitulates, Greece and Montenegro just don't care anymore. And give in to it as well. So time is running up. Um, reorganization act. And I have to choose between hard Rationing, which gives me 20 army experience and, tw and 50 political power, or I get tw 10 army experience and 100 political power. Because I don't really need a lot of political power, I'm going to go with hard rationing. Gives me 20 army experience, which I can straight away use to upgrade my army and everything. 
The Reorganization Act has been done. Okay, we go into details and we are going to get it. the hard rash, harsh rash rationing. Oh shit, no, we are in... Ah, I'm an idiot. 1913. I have more milita uh, military factories. One to be exact. Um, 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 I'm going to give it to the weapons manufacturing. They should manufacture some more weapons first. Because I'm still not using my support infantry... What's it called? Support equipment. Because I haven't added any of the um, support companies to my army yet. Because I just don't have the army experience to do so. Well, I'm very close to be happy with the, with the army size. So one more uh, division and we have... A decent striking power division size, sort of. <laughs> air superiority missions would be better if I take that, but I don't have any air superiority. Trucks and armor variants breakthrough will be higher with that one. And I'm planning on building some armored cars rather sooner than later. Well, actually, I could start the production now. I could also start to soup them up, but should I? Nah, 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 not yet. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't have the factories for that. So, world tension is at eighteen percent now. The war here is going in uh, in the favor of the Ottoman Empire. I think they will win. Probably wide up Serbia. Maybe they take Serbia and Greece territory and Montenegro as well. Then they have a border to the Austrian-Hungary Empire. First flight across the Mediterranean Sea today. The locals of Bitsert Tunisia noticed a strange flying object, which was revealed to be Roland Garros, a French professional pilot, in his Morin Solnier monoplane. This journey marks the first crossing of the Mediterranean Sea by air and... Okay, thank you. <laughs> by sea. Uh, Mediterranean Sea by air. Uh, Astonishing landmark for the young science of aviation. Local sailors were reportedly not impressed. <laughs> so what? It's just a fate. Ah, uh, well. Patriotic fever gives me a research bonus to a lot of stuff. Uh, to naval, air and land doctrine and 50 political power. Uh, this gives me an airbase and then I have to decide. Yep, I'm gonna go. No, I'm not gonna go there. I just realized that this is all 13, right? I can do both of this one. So construction effort first, then the other one. Should have done that before. I'm behind, I'm lagging behind. What's the Germans up to, by the way? The Reorganization Act, that's okay. The French are doing what? Development infrastructure in Asia. They don't really care about about their borders at the moment, it seems like it. Uh, to be exact, to be completely honest, I'm not 100% sure. I think 1914 was the start of the First World War, right? So we are one year away from the First World War. I have built up my army a bit. I, did, I sided with the Entente, um, with the Democratic side and with Russia, which I still don't know exactly if Finland was really part of Russia or not. I really need to look that up, but because I'm recording in bulk, I'm too lazy to quit out of the game or tap out of the game and check Google, Wikipedia, to see if that is the case or not. So I'm hoping any of you guys let me know in the comment section. And we are in December 1913. Uh, the Ottoman Empire is kicking the butts of the Serbs and of the Greeks as well. And we are done researching with that track stuff so this is 16 tech we don't care about 16 tech um we could upgrade our torpedoes quite a bit actually should i i think i should because i'm not researching artillery or anything i don't care about the artillery stuff and this is also 14 tech oh in 14 we can actually get some nice stuff so maybe that's just 90 days it's a bit long How's my research going? The other stuff is will be done though very quickly. So yeah, let's get it. Let's make my <coughs> let's make my torpedoes stronger. Sorry about that. And see how my torpedoes are doing. So let's play again. 
well, as soon as we are engaged in naval combat. So far this war is still going on nicely. Uh, we could send land. Send volunteer forces, yeah, if the world tension is high enough. And the effort has been done. We only get the armament effort, which gives me some military factories. And the year will change over rather soon. A couple more days. Okay, I'm gonna wait with that research because now it's January 14. Meaning, wrong button, meaning we can get a research done on, there we are, here, which gives infantry uh, defense and breakthrough, everything goes up, or we can get motorized already, motorized ambulances, I think I'm gonna get this three first before I go into that, yeah, and I'll start with the uh, early support weapons too. Why the hell not? That looks about right. But I tell you what, guys, that's going to be it for this episode. If you did like, please hit the like button. You can also subscribe to my channel or follow me on Facebook or Twitter. Links will be in the video description. And like always, guys, one more time, thank you very much for watching. And I hope to see you in my next video. Bye-bye.